Great. Well, um, thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm delighted and honored to be here. Uh, my name is Erin Mizan. I'm the Vice President of Sustainability at a company called Interface. Um, and what I really want to do tonight is have a discussion with you about our business model, what we see the value is in being a sustainable business, and really share some of the big lessons learned that we've had um, throughout the last 20 years and really focusing on sustainability. Um, so, hello. Is this what happened to you as well? Yeah. Not pushing in the right direction. There we go. Um, so I wanted to start with this. This is sort of a great summary of the philosophy and the operating <coughs> principles that I think Interface follows and is the challenge on a daily basis that we have to solve at Interface. Um, as Richard said, we're, we're a flooring company. We are a billion dollar, about 5,000 employees globally, manufacturing company that makes modular carpeting. We were founded in the early 1970s by an American entrepreneur named Ray Anderson. Um, and this is what we make. Um, it is, from the perspective of entrepreneurism, a very interesting story. Uh, our founder saw this idea, brought it to his boss. Um, his boss didn't like the idea. He worked at a conventional carpet company. Um, and Ray left on his own and created Interface to launch this product and ultimately create the market for it. Um, he started it in 1973 and within 15 years it became a billion dollar company with about 6,000 employees globally. But the most interesting thing about this story is we're about to celebrate our 40th birthday. And halfway through that journey in about the 20th year of the company, um, our founder had a fundamental perspective change. We had been operating since the 70s as a very conventional business. We were what Richard was talking about. We were a take, make, waste company that sort of viewed the resources and the environmental implications of our business as something that was not our problem. And our perspective you know, fundamentally changed to adopt a different level of thinking. We are convinced that the business as usual mindset is unsustainable, that everything has to change, and we have to be a part of that change. And we came to this conclusion um, through a very provocative question from one of our customers. Uh, in the early 1990s, we had a big uh, carpet job in California. And it, a green building was being built. And in those days, there wasn't a clear definition. There weren't lead standards. There weren't green building standards. There was an architect who was looking to build a structure that had less of an impact on the planet. And he hired a consultant, and that consultant was asking every person selling materials into that product, into that project, what is your company doing for the environment? And we did not have an answer for that. We could talk about the characteristics of our product, which by the way, weren't great on the environment either, but we fundamentally didn't have an answer. So we lost the job. And that really impacted our founder. He put together an internal team created an environmental task force, as you know, companies do, and said, solve this problem. Figure out how to provide an answer to customers. Um, you know, what, what they came up with was to invite him to come back and give them a kickoff vision to start the process. So as our founder was struggling with what to say, this is the mindset that he was in. This is all he could think of. The most creative thing, the best environmental vision, was we comply with the law. And he simply couldn't get beyond it. He couldn't get out of that old mindset. So uh, luckily, at around the same time, um, a really influential book landed on his desk. How many of you guys have heard of this book? Anyone heard it or read of it? Um, it's a, the man who wrote it is a very well-recognized sort of sustainable business thought leader. He's an American. He's an entrepreneur. He built and sold several companies. Smith & Hawken is one of them. And he wrote this book after doing years of research about being passionate about the environment and also being a business person. And there's kind of two things that are really significant about this book. The first is he makes the case for all the environmental impacts happening globally and essentially makes the argument that most of our natural systems are in decline. And the biggest culprit, the biggest entity responsible for that is the institution of business. So our founder read this book fundamentally had, as he called, an epiphanal experience, fundamental perspective change, and really sort of found some hope in the book's final argument, which is that the only institution that's powerful enough to correct this course, that's pervasive enough, has enough money, 
powerful enough is the institution of business. So he fundamentally connected with this book, adopted this philosophy, went into that task force and sort of created a new vision for the company. And the vision for the company really is to be as sustainable as possible, but to have ultimately a restorative impact. Um, on the left is sort of how we summarize that um, mission internally and externally for our employees. And on the right is an early diagram that we use to, to share with our employees internally about the depth and breadth of this commitment. And it was actually a little drawing that was sketched out by our founder. And his point was, if we as a petro-intensive company and a billion dollar enterprise can get to a zero footprint, it will be the equivalent for us of climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> it will be that daunting a challenge. Um, and so we've termed it Mount Sustainability and that's been an analogy that we've used to share the vision, get buy-in and really communicate this to our employees. Um, and so I'm gonna share two lessons learned tonight. Kind of the first is that we've really realized that in order to make this transition to a fundamentally different model, it requires businesses to sort of envision and adopt a new model for themselves. So the lesson is really embrace new models and pilot them often. One of the first things that we did um, was a strategy session with our executive team to map out the implications of our business from an environmental perspective. We were a very linear take resources from the natural world, make something with them, sell that product to customers, and waste a lot in the process. And we asked ourselves, if we were a sustainable business, what would that model look like? And we looked to nature as an inspiration. And we created for the business a new model based on how natural systems function. And that new model translated into a manufacturing business included things like getting power sources from renew renewable energy, much, much like nature. Um, mimicking cyclical processes for materials flow. So not taking that virgin material and wasting it, but ultimately putting in place a system to use recycled materials to bring back our materials at the end of their useful life and put them back into the production cycle. So the first thing was adopting this model for us. Um, and I just referenced this because um, our founder published a book that includes the model and the early experience of making this mid-course correction, as I said, halfway through the life of the company making this fundamental change. So one really important lesson for us was, as our founder used to summarize this, the best way to have you know, good new ideas is just stop having the old bad ones. Just get a different model. Whether it's based on nature, but fundamentally if you're starting down this path as a business, have a clearer design of how that's fundamentally gonna impact the systems of your business and where you're gonna to need to intervene to make change. We found that was a very powerful lesson learned for us and it shifted our thinking from sustainability as a business being about not just what's our responsibility. And we have a huge responsibility here and we do a lot of work to reduce our environmental footprint. Over the last 20 years, we've halved our greenhouse gas emissions globally. 36% of uh, the energy we use in the business around the world comes from a range of renewable sources. We've decreased the waste we've sent to landfill over 80%. So this is a key part of it. But it's about shifting that mindset from not just responsibility to where's the opportunity? You know, where's the business opportunity? How are you gonna really sort of think about sustainable business as a way to grow the business? Um, that might mean selling environmentally sensitive products into markets where uh, customers are increasingly demanding them. 